This year's World Maritime Day is themed Sustainable Shipping for a Sustainable Planet. The Kenya Maritime Authority is a government institution that was set up to regulate, coordinate and oversee maritime affairs in the country. It came, principally, it came out of concern for maritime security. All the waste is sorted into different categories. As for the plastic, we'll go further and sort it into the different types, then crush it. Kenya Maritime Authority has taken deliberate efforts to encourage women to take up very, very important roles in the maritime sector. Kenya's maritime industry and blue economy has already started the transition towards a sustainable shipping future. Kenya upholds maritime safety and security through national agencies like the Kenya Maritime Authority and the Kenya Coast Guard Services. Kenya Maritime Authority is a government institution that was set up in 2004 to regulate, coordinate and oversee maritime affairs in the country. It was established by an act of parliament in 2006 it came, principally, it came out of concern for maritime security following the 9-11 attack. So then it was felt that there was a need to set up an independent institution to deal with the implementation of international ship and the Port Facility Security Code, that is ISPS code. And so then there was a need to have an independent institution auditing, and that is why KMA was set up through an executive order of the president as a regulator, overseer, and coordinator of maritime affairs. Every year, the World Maritime Day is celebrated globally in September to draw attention to the importance of shipping safety, maritime security, education and training, and the marine environment. This year's World Maritime Day is themed Sustainable Shipping for a Sustainable Planet. We refer to shipping because that is the main, the main thing that International Maritime Organization, that is IMO, deals with, is movement of ships all over the waters in the world. And when ships move, they consume bunker fuel, they produce carbon dioxide, they also use engines which are not fuel efficient. So the contribution that comes from the maritime is targeted to be reduced, reduced, until we, we, we attain the green setters as a mode of transport. And so then the emphasis for IMO is what measures are being put in place to help in reducing the effect on the ozone layer arising out of waste from fuel and, uh, and uh, that, uh, that ships use. To improve facilitation of international maritime traffic, Kenya continues to implement the Facilitation of International Maritime Traffic Convention in the region through the established Maritime Single Window Platform, which enhances electronic data interchange and faster cargo clearance. Kentrade is a government agency under the National Treasury um, with a mandate of uh, trade facilitation um, through digitizing um, trade related um, regulatory agencies. So we have implemented the National Electronic Single Window System, um, what we call the TradeNet system, um, which is a one-stop shop for all applications um, for import or export. The Maritime Single Window is an obligation um, of member countries of the International Maritime Organization, or what is called the IMO, um, to automate um, sea-based uh, uh, documents. You'll find that all these vessels, um, ships that come to Mombasa, also call different ports. Now, what was realized is that um, each port had different requirements for documentation. So the IMO then obligated member countries to come up with standardized documents and also to automate uh, those documents through what is called the file convention. What happens then is that there's faster turnaround time of vessels, um, reduced documentation um, on board the vessel. Um, there's more focus on really um, the operations of the vessel um, and not documentation. And for the government agencies, then they're able to interact with those vessels, are able to know in advance what is coming um, on those vessels. If there's dangerous cargo, um, there's a much faster turnaround, essentially. 
The nation continues to improve the efficiency of shipping through reduction of greenhouse gas emissions, reduction of the sulfur content of ships' fuel oil, implementation of the Ballast Water Management Convention, protection of the marine environment, and reduction of marine litter. As KWS, we have partnered with KMA uh, on various occasions. They have assisted in supporting litter collection from our beaches by providing litter bins and even providing signage. Where we are right now is actually known as EcoWorld. Uh, recycling center. It's the recycling facility for Watamu Marine Association. At Eco World, we receive waste from regular beach cleaners. All the waste is sorted into different categories. As for the plastic, we we'll go further and sort it into the different types, then crush it. And then we sell the plastic chips to companies that make plastic products. With the money that we get from that sales, we plow it back into the project and we pay more community members to go do regular beach cleanups. Kenya Maritime Authority is one of those organizations that really helped to boost the work that we do. They were not just helping to promote the community groups, but also to ensure that our marine environment was conserved, as well as, uh, and that also attracts more tourists, boosting the tourism industry in Watam. The Port Community Charter and the improvement of port infrastructure has led to the timely turnaround time for vessels at the Port of Mombasa and reduced the cost of doing business. The standard gauge railway line SGR is also being optimized to ensure faster movement of cargo from Mombasa to the hinterland. Portree's SGR terminals. It is a marshalling yard where all trains coming from the two ICDs, they terminate here. They convey majorly exports and empty container returns. When they arrive at this yard, we know the cargo position allocated for XGR by Kenya Ports Authority. When vessels come to the port of Mombasa, Kenya Railways is aware through the cargo manifest issued to us by Kenya Ports Authority. So our role basically as Kenya Railways is to ensure that we work close in tandem with KMA, KPA, and, and Kenya Revenue Authority to sustain clients' expectation of movement of cargo from Mombasa to the up-country direction. Kenya has also invested in local training institutions like the Bandari Maritime Academy to offer standardized maritime education in the country. In addition, the Kenya Maritime Authority is at the forefront of improving the welfare of seafarers and enhancing women participation in the maritime sector. For a long time, the maritime sector has been perceived as a male domain. KMA started what they are calling Womesa, Women in the Maritime uh, Southern and East Africa. It manages the women activities of the maritime sector in East and South Africa and has done a lot in terms of encouraging ladies. They organize uh, forums where they go to the girls' schools, talk to them about maritime, show them some of the dollars that are earned by pilots and marine engineers. And we encourage them to take up nautical science and marine engineering and they are doing excellent work. The future of Kenya's shipping remains optimistic. Sustainable shipping and Kenya's blue economy holds the vital key to unlocking the sector's contribution to economic transformation and creation of new job opportunities without upsetting nature's delicate balance. If you are conscious of how then we take care of our marine environment, and at the same time we see how we manage our engines and better systems, and better gas, quality gas, then the blue economy has a lot to offer for us.